This question asks for the value of R which makes the volume a maximum. I have got another video that might look similar to this one but that one was a little bit different. There they wanted the maximum surface area. Okay, so a slight difference there. So they, they want the maximum volume. So you try and make a formula for volume which for any shape is area of base times height. And sometimes you would have to divide by three if it's like a pyramid. But this is not a pyramid type shape, so area of base would be a circle, which is pi r squared times by height. Okay, there we go, we've got a formula. Now to find minimums and maximums, you would take the first derivative. However, we have two variables, r and h. And so we need to use other information to replace one of those variables. So they tell us here as well that the cylinder has a surface area of 20. Now the surface area of a cylinder is 2 pi r squared because there's two circles at the top and at the bottom and each circle is pi r squared and then the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r but then you times that with height to make sure that you get all the stuff on the outside like that. Now the surface area is 20 so we can replace that with, and then we could get h by itself for example. You could also get r alone but it's just going to be easier to get h alone. So we can get 2 pi r h be equal to 20 minus 2 pi r squared. Okay now to get h alone you'll divide everything by 2 pi r so you'd end up with this. Okay and then you just want to simplify a little bit so 20 divided by 2 is 10 so it'll be 10 over pi r this two cancels, the pi's cancel, and the r's cancel, so there will be one r left over at the top. And so this is what h is equal to. We can now use this h in the place of that h over there. And so I'm going to rewrite the volume expression down here as pi r squared, and then in brackets we can replace the h with 10 over pi r minus r. So then we can multiply in, so that's going to be 10 pi r squared over pi r, that's for the first part, and now I'm multiplying over to there, so that'll become pi r cubed over 1. So I'm not going to say over 1 because that's just what it is, and so that's the volume. Now what we want to do is just simplify that a little bit, so the pi's cancel over there, and one of the r's would cancel as well, and so you'd be left with 10 r minus pi r cubed. Now, to find, so there's our volume expression, Now, and we only have one variable, just r, you can see that. Now to find minimums and maximums, it's always the first derivative equal to zero. So we take the first derivative, which is 10 minus, now this 3 is just going to multiply with pi, so you can type it on the calculator if you want, so it's 3 pi r squared, and then we're going to make that equal to zero, because it's, that's how you find minimums and maximums that. Okay, what I would then do is I would take the 3 pi r squared over to the other side, can then divide by 3, so you can get r squared is equal to 10 over 3 pi. You then take the square root, and so r is going to be technically plus minus the square root of 10 over 3 pi, and that's going to mean that r is positive or negative 1.03, but r can't be a negative, you can't have a negative radius, therefore r is going to be 1.03.